السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ کے ساتھ ہم عارفہ مظفر اور ایز یوژل ہم عبد الماجی جمال آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہیں ایک اور پروگرام آف ساز و آواز کے ساتھ عارفہ جی اس سے پہلے نا میں نے کبھی بھی اس طریقہ انٹروڈکشن کسی کو نہیں دیا آج ود دا پرمیشن آف آر گیسٹ میں نے کہا کہ آج جو ہمارے گیسٹ ہیں نا وہ ایک پاگل امریکی لڑکی ہے آج کا پروگرام کرنے کا ایک مقصد یہ بھی ہے کہ ہمارے اندر سے بعض چیزیں نکلتی ہیں میں کہتی ہوں پاکستان میرا وطن ہے کینیڈا میرا چوزن کنٹری ہے میری تمام کی تمام فیورز لو میری ہر کام کینیڈا کی بہتری کے لیے مگر یس میرا اپنا وطن پاکستان کہیں بھی پیچھے نہیں ہے یہ نہیں کہ میں اگر آگے بڑھوں اور میں اس وطن کی کوئی بات کروں حالانکہ اکثر اوقات یہاں پر بھی ملاقات میں آپ لوگ بھی جاتے ہیں ملاقات میں دیکھیے ہمارا ٹاپک ہوتا ہے پاکستان کے بارے میں میں مانتی ہوں اس بات پہ کہ جب ہم کسی سے توقعات زیادہ وابستہ کر لیتے ہیں تو وہ توقعات جب ہماری پوری نہیں ہوتی تو پھر ہم اس کے بارے میں نگیٹو بولنا شروع کرتے ہیں مگر میں کبھی کبھی اس بارے میں اس کو اس طرح سے سوچتی ہوں ہماری اپنی ماں سے بھی تو کتنی توقعات ہوتی ہیں ہمارے بچوں سے بھی تو کتنی توقعات ہوتی ہیں ہم باہر نکل کے اپنی امی کی برائی نہیں کرتے ہم اپنے بچوں کی برائی نہیں کرتے کور کرتے ہیں نا ان کو کتنی جگہوں پہ کور کرتے ہیں آج کا انٹرویو جب مجھے ملا اور اس انٹرویو کے لیے میں خاص طور پہ شکر گزار ہوں کینیڈا پاکستان بزنس کاؤنسل کے جناب سمیر دوسل صاحب کی آپ نے تو اپنا انٹرویو کروانا ہے آپ اپنا کروائیے گا مگر صاحب دنیا میں ہم کہیں بھی اکیلے نہیں ہیں ٹوگیدر ٹوگیدر وی کین میک اے ڈفرینس To be a team player, that makes the difference. <coughs> Samir Dosal Sahib ka bahut shukriya ke aaj ke interview ka unho ne mauka diya. Mera dil karta hai, kaash ek nahi, do nahi mein char episodes ye wale aapke khidmat mein pesh karo. Ab taaruf karai ye apne mehman. Definitely, definitely. And uh, we have a very, very, very special guest, uh, Cynthia, with us today. And uh, Cynthia, welcome to Sazu Havaz. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ سمیر بھائی آپ کا بہت بہت شکریہ کہ آپ سنتیا جیسی پرسنالٹی کو ہمارے پاس دیکھ آئے کہ وہ ہمارے ساتھ بیٹھی ہیں ہمارے ساتھ انگیج ہونے کے لیے کہ ہم مل کے جیسے بہن نے ابھی بتایا کہ کوئی کانفلکٹ نہیں کوئی تضاد نہیں کینیڈا میں اور پاکستان میں کوئی تضاد نہیں ہے میں نے ابھی سترہ سال ہو گئے مجھے یہاں رکے ہوئے کوئی تضاد نہیں دیکھا کہ پاکستان اور کینیڈا کینیڈا چوزن ملک ہے جیسے آپ نے کہا یہ ہمارے دل دل ہے ماں ہے ہماری تو کوئی تضاد نہیں ہے اور جب ایسے لوگ آتے ہیں تو اور دل خوش ہوتا ہے کہ جی میں جتنا پاکستان کے بارے میں آپ جتنا پاکستان کے بارے میں کہیں اور جب ایک پاگل امریکی لڑکی بولے تو اس کا ایک امپیکٹ بڑا پازیٹیو ہوتا ہے اور وہی ہم نے پچھلے سنڈے کو ایک پروگرام کیا ہے اور آج بھی انشاءاللہ امید ہے کہ یہی میسج جو ہے آپ کے توسط سے آگے جائے گا بالکل اور سمن میں یہاں پہ آپ سے یہ کہتی ہوں کہ بفور وی اسٹارٹ دس پروگرام سنتھیا رچی ہمارے ساتھ ہیں بہت ساری ان کی ویڈیوز آپ یوٹیوب پہ بھی دیکھ سکتے ہیں مگر ایک اور کلپ کے ساتھ اس پروگرام کو شروع کرتی ہوں اور پھر ہم سنتھیا رچی سے آپ کی بات چیت کرائیں گے اس کلپ کو واچ کیجیے So we're listening to the thunder. I hope you can hear it. And the peacocks <coughs> cooing. This is Pakistan. The most beautiful country in the world. <laughs> See, all the peacocks are agreeing. They're saying, yes, Pakistan is the most beautiful country in the world. So there's been so much propaganda against Pakistan. The enemies of Pakistan are trying to discourage tourism by creating terrorist incidents and publicizing it all over the world. But actually, there's practically no terrorism in Pakistan. That's just the media's propaganda. I never saw any terrorism here. And I've met thousands of people who are very, very hospitable and friendly and loving, the most wonderful people in the world. So please come to Pakistan yourself and see that what I'm saying is true. Don't believe the false propaganda in the media. Praise be to God. یہ ویڈیو بہت خوبصورت تھی اور میرا دل چاہتا ہے کہ آپ بھی اپنے دوست احباب سے اس ویڈیو کو ضرور شیئر کیجیے گا پاکستان بہت خوبصورت ہے بہت خوبصورت ہے 
Aba. No tourism. Uh, no tourism. And I'm not being a Pakistani and Canadian. Of course, I am not Pakistan. But the bottom line is that when you, Cynthia, as an American, uh, went to those part of the, uh, the world, how did you find Pakistan? Uh, we, 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 uh, we're going to talk about other, other parts of the world too, but uh, today we're going to talk uh, particularly about Pakistan. How did you find Pakistan? As I say many times over, Pakistan is a, a kaleidoscope of civilization that's completely fascinating for me. Uh, there are certainly innumerable, innumerable challenges in the country, but there are also many beautiful things, and that includes the people that I encountered in my travels. So to me, it's a tourist, adventure tourist, dream come true. One thing, okay, and I hope you come to my answer, but I don't, I'm not going to tell you what my answer is. Uh, you went to Pakistan. What part of Pakistan have you seen? Oh my gosh, the easier question might be what part of Pakistan I haven't seen. What, I, part, of Pakistan, <laughs> what part of Pakistan you like the best? I, I don't have one part that I can Please say. Please say Karachi. I can take, uh, I can say, I can listen, uh, I love Gwadar Port, I, I love Karachi, Lahore. That's it, that's it. Oh, no, no more. <laughs> Pakistan hai to Islamabad hai. Yes. Pakistan hai to Karachi hai. <laughs> Pakistan hai. Exactly. Gilgit. Be uh -huh. I love, I'm a mountains girl. I love mm. the mountains, so I tend yeah. to be favored. And the beautiful northern regions are just absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Interior sand. Balochistan has amazing untapped um, hidden waters and lakes and beaches. I mean, there's mm -hmm. just no end to the variety that you can find in Pakistan. Now, Cynthia, before we get into this thing, uh, what is your background? Where do you belong uh, by birth? By birth, good question. I'm originally from Louisiana. They tell me that I was born in Louisiana anyway. Um, I'm a Southern girl. And being raised in Texas and Louisiana, I also found a lot more in common with Pakistanis because Southerners in the United States tend to be far more conservative. They value their faith, their belief system, and so many food-centric activities. So when I flew all the way around the world, the further I traveled, the more I realized the two communities actually had in common. But the thing is that uh, when you told me that you are from Louisiana, uh, I love their accent. You don't have that accent. You left. Uh, oh no, Louisiana. I can pull out my southern accent. Don't you worry about that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love that accent. But it's only mostly when I get pulled over by police officers. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is uh, an American girl born and raised in America. Did you? Uh, you went to Pakistan and you went to other countries. Now I'll come back to Pakistan because I wanted people to know uh, what is your background. Sure. Now, many people living here, when they watch uh, all the media and uh, television programs, there are so much negative going on. So what made you to, to go to Pakistan? Originally, I was invited to Pakistan by the diaspora based out of Houston, Texas. I had no idea that I would ever go to Pakistan. As a little girl, I wanted to be an ancient Egyptian archaeologist. I wanted to be Indiana Jones. That was my ultimate dream. And so when I was working in Houston, Texas, a number of the Pakistanis in Houston came to know me through political campaigns and conflict resolution. So when the floods of 2010 happened, I helped represent the new mayor for the city of Houston, Texas as a sort of um, informal good, goodwill mm -hmm. ambassador. Mm -hmm. We traveled extensively across to, um, Pakistan, made a couple of small humanitarian aid trips, and we also built up the sister cities associations, Houston Chiba, which is in Japan, Houston Karachi, and so forth. So this was an effort to help build people-to-people -people relations, increase trade and commerce and so forth. So, but my question was, uh, because I know very many people, sometimes they want to go there, friends, relatives, parents, they say, don't go there, media portrays such a negative picture, strikes are going there, terrorist attacks are there, people are. so. Were you scared? Were you scared when you left for Pakistan? I chose, you know, um, most of my friends were like, are you crazy? 
you're, yeah. you're going to die. Less impression. Yeah, yeah. And I said, yes, I am a little bit crazy, but why spend, waste time talking about the obvious? Um, I love to travel. I love adventure travel. When I go to Mexico, I travel with people who live in Mexico or who know the locals. I have friends or contacts, close connections. Same with Pakistan. I chose to be a tabula rasa. I chose to be a blank slate. And instead of allowing the, the, the mass media to form my own opinion, I wanted Pakistan to reveal itself to me. So then you travel. Now, <clears throat> once you reached Pakistan and uh, you, what? ever you had in your mind about Pakistan, how do you uh, match both of those? So there were a number of extremes. I mean, you, Pakistan is, an, is a country of extremes, you know, for the good and, and for the not so good. Yes, extremist in love. Uh, and everything. I, and I, crazy Southerners, crazy Pakistanis, you know. Mm -hmm. The further I traveled, the more we had in common. I loved the hospitality of the people. I loved the, the warmth and the welcoming nature was just completely uninhibited. And I realized being a Guri Chitti that there is a little extra element of hospitality that's afforded to to, I understand that, yes. especially mm -hmm. having lived in Pakistan now for three years. But regardless of that, I've made so many amazing friends who I'm appreciative that they took a chance on me as a foreigner, as an American, as I took a chance on them. It was very much a reciprocal relationship. And I've learned so much from Pakistan and Pakistanis that what I'm trying to do now is in my small way, give back. Hospitality, when it comes to hospitality, of course, Southern are known for that. Yes. Uh, and especially where, where you are from. Uh, and did you find any different in Pakistan? Like they are, they are, they are the same. Like they are very hospitable when when it comes to especially doesn't matter Gauri Chitti or anybody from outside. True. My mother is a true Southern Belle from Louisiana, and she has not traveled very much at all. But what's interesting is that one of my first trips to Pakistan, I had a Skype call with her and where she saw my torso, my upper body, and she says, oh, well, Cynthia, it looks like you put on some weight. <laughs> and I said, well, probably, Mother, because everywhere I go, the Pakistanis feed me. And her response was, oh, thank God. If they're feeding you, they're taking care of you. And I thought, how interesting is that? My mother, who has not traveled anywhere ever, really, put together something that me, the world traveler, had not connected yet, the element of hospitality and the food connection, culinary diplomacy. When it comes to a bit to more serious uh, uh, stuff and... Uh before we get into the serious stuff. You want to go uh, with the light? You want to stay with lighter? Uh, Cynthia, I want to show one uh, of your uh, experience of having food over there. And you had, because the, these North Americans, they are not uh, used to hot food. Muggers, muggers. Spices. I, <laughs> I love muggers. Muggers. <laughs> You didn't understand what she was saying. Muggas. <laughs> and my favorite dude pati. Uh, I have my own special secret recipe, which I will share if everybody agrees to not use sure, my secret. Sure, please. Twice, no, three times boiled buffalo milk with the, with the tea sweetened with Pakistani golden shahid. Oh, my gosh. It is how do you, amazing. How do you make that? Just, just, just like that? Just, just to, you know, throw it all together. You know, you guys are the subject matter experts. I just put the ingredients. I'm going to open up my own chai shop eventually in Pakistan. That's <laughs> I used to live in there in Pakistan now, or are you? I divide my time between uh, Pakistan and uh, East Coast and West Coast in the United States. May I show you a video? Dikhati, Cynthia, ko mirche khate hue dekhe aap. We'll come back. Okay, I'm getting ready to try one of the most dangerous things in Pakistan, and that is a local chili. So I'm gonna take a big, big bite out of it. Let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll be very tasty. Huh. What's that? What's that about? Not so bad. Mm. <laughs> 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 You're not going to win. 